Virgo, hi. So this is going to be a reading for the month of February 2020. And I'll start you off with um, two oracle cards from the spirit of the uh, the spirit animal oracle. Uh, you get two of those, then I'll be going into the reading, and then I'll be closing it off with one oracle card from the soul's journey. So let's get you started here. Uh, these are general readings. They may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box if you want. Um, roles can be reversed, given that they're general. What else? Sun, moon, rising, every kind of placement you can think of. Alright, so... Let's see. Uh, let's start you off here with two of these. You want more than two? You want three? Yeah, let's get you three if you want three. All right. So you get the koala spirit. Uh, spirit has a plan. The koi fish spirit. There is always enough. And the whale spirit. Trust the great mystery. Interesting. All right, uh, let's get you started here with the reading. All right, so the overall energy for the reading is the Three of Pentacles. Uh, you might be dealing with a partnership here. It could be in regards to work for some of you. There's something coming together for you here. Uh, starting off the reading, you get the Five of Swords crossed by the Page of Wands. Uh, somebody you're dealing with that may be younger than you, maybe a little bit deceptive, a little bit, um, well, they could just be younger, you know, not seeing things, uh, the same way as you do. And that makes them look deceptive here. Or they're just playing games, you know, or they're trying to. Uh, your focus here is the Knight of Cups. You are wanting to go towards somebody and, you know, express your love. Um... <clears throat> In your recent past, you get the Eight of Pentacles. There's something you've been working at for whatever the case. You've been putting in a lot of work into something. Um, <clears throat> your strength here is the Ten of Swords. Now, the Ten of Swords is that feeling of... Losing hope, pretty much, you know, feeling defeated, feeling like, you know, there's there's absolutely nothing uh, I can do to restore things or to make things better and things like that. But this, given that this is in your strength, I kind of get the sense that you know this feeling quite well. And you don't want to get to this feeling ever again. And I feel like you have the tools to keep yourself out of this energy, you know? Uh, coming up for you in the immediate future, the Five of Pentacles. You may be leaving someone here, you know, or you may be feeling this sense of feeling alone, uh, feeling abandoned, you know. Um, what's, what's supporting this reading is the lovers. So this is possibly a very strong connection that you're dealing with. The energy that surrounds you, and you may not be aware of it, the Five of Wands. Conflict. We'll see what happens with this conflict. Maybe it's getting someplace. Maybe it's getting resolved. Um, <clears throat> what you're hoping for, what you're wishing for here is the Knight of Wands. You know, this person that you're dealing with, I feel like 
they could be a fire sign or they're acting very, very passionately towards you, but you just want them to be, you know, themselves and give you that passion that they're capable of, right? Um, whew, the potential outcome, the tower. And I'm going to leave that at that until I clarify things. So let's get clarifying. Um, let's do the three of pentacles here. <clears throat> you get the two of cups, the uh, seven of pentacles, and the knight of swords. So, um, there's possibly potentially a coming back together, a union happening with this person here. Um, there's something that you planned. It's not like, you know, I'm just going to go call them and it's going to be okay. No, you thought about this. You thought about things and I feel like you're very determined at this point. Again, this could be them. It doesn't have to be you, but somebody planned this out. Somebody worked on this um, union to happen. Okay, and it's looking like whoever that is, they're very determined to go get it. Let me clarify the Five of Swords. You get the High Priestess, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Ten of Cups. So yeah, somebody's... Um, whoever wanted or tried to play games here, uh, they're, they're not doing that anymore. I feel like they're starting to listen to their intuition more and more instead of this, who's always, you know, tricking or trying to trick people or themselves. And they're starting to, the, uh, to listen to their intuition, and their intuition is leading them to happiness here. You know, no more games, no more mind games here for whoever was doing that. Let's do the Page of Wands. <clears throat> wow, you get the Queen of Cups, the King of Pentacles and the Emperor. Uh, lots and lots of love, and I feel like this is you, you know, standing in your power there, knowing exactly what you want out of this connection, and not backing down from it necessarily, you know, stepping away just when this person needs to learn certain things, but overall, you're there constantly, because this is what you want. There's love here. On your part, there's love on their part, and you're like, okay, I'm gonna... I'm just going to do me until this person, you know, figures things out. Let's do the Knight of Cups. For your focus. Yeah, you're still not knowing exactly how to go about this. Because you, you do want to go towards this person, you know, offer them your love. Or they want to come towards you, but and, and there's a lot of sadness behind it. There's a lot of uh, because whoever's trying to open up here is not quite doing it. They're thinking about how to do it, and the more they think about it, the sad, the more discontent they get. Hello, what's up? All right, so um. They're, they're going through this kind of phase of... This is overthinking. This is overthinking, and I feel like this person has done it in the past. It could be you, it could be them. Whoever did that, or whoever used to do that, uh, is going through this change, changing of this aspect, right? Because... Uh, it's like, I feel like people are starting to figure out, like, you know, this is how I feel. So what if the other person doesn't share my feelings? I'm just going to stick to my truth. Okay, this is how I feel and I'll see what happens after. And a, a lot of people are starting to figure this thing out. Kind of like, why should I hold back? Why should I not say how I truly feel? You know, so I feel like this is what this person is going through. Could be you, could be them. <clears throat> 
Let me clarify that Ten of Swords in your strength. Yeah, coming out victorious of, uh, from this energy of feeling defeated, right? Feeling like there's no way I can get up. You can. And you're starting to see the results. It's, it's a hard road to take to come out of this kind of state. But and it's been quite some time, you know, since you've worked on this to bring you out. But um, you're doing it. You're doing it and you're starting to see little, little flashes here and there of success, right? And those are the things you're trying to hang on to and do that. <clears throat> no matter how small they are. Let's see the uh, five of pentacles. You can't sit still, can you? You get the knight of wands, the seven of wands, and the justice card. So you're going to you're going to be dealing with a little bit of rejection here. Um it's n I don't see that as being oh my god we're done this connection is done. I don't see that here happening here. I do see that that person that you're dealing with might might reject you a little bit, you know? Might you may feel it in their energy. Like they would be with you and whatever, they would go with the flow, but at the same time you're feeling something's off. And if you're feeling that, that's them kind of pulling back energetically. Um, there's a lot of passion here and that might scare the other person or you. Uh, whatever the case, somebody's going to feel a little bit of rejection here and... Um, That's why you're going to go through this feeling of, oh my God, I'm alone here. You know, I'm alone in this one. You're not. You're not. It's just, they need to balance things out when it comes to this. Because it, it's something that scares them. It's the intensity of it or something like that. Let me clarify the uh, lovers. Yeah, see, there, there's love here, there's love, there's slow, slow, slow movement here, uh, which feels like nothing's really happening, you know, because it's so slow. But there is love here in this connection. It's just not going at the pace you would necessarily want at this time. Let me clarify the five of wands and what the hidden aspects are here. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, somebody's just starting to come out of this confusing kind of state. You know, they're just starting to figure things out and come out of this, oh my God, I don't know what to do. Um, you know, they're working on it. Because um, that creates a lot of conflict when one person is very unsure not knowing exactly what they want out of this connection and things like that. It brings a lot of conflict into the connection. And again, that could be you, that could be them. Whoever is that is working on things, is working on that aspect. <clears throat> Let me clarify the Knight of Wands. Yeah, you're hoping, uh, you're hoping to reach actually this um, emotional stability even if there is no one. No, not no one. The person that you truly want, even if they're not in your life, you're you're trying to reach this emotional stability for yourself. You know, not depending on that person to bring you this kind of happiness, because you can do it here, and you are open to that. You are very open and very. You're putting a lot of attention and a lot of energy into it here. You know, you're trying to learn that. How do I do that? How do I not? depend on that person to make me happy on that one person because usually we're fixated on one person we skip we 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 start missing can i have my no no biting no clawing um we stop seeing that we have friends we have family we have people that love us right we're fixated on that one oh but that one doesn't love me so you're trying to get there you're trying to not depend uh, on that person, you know, on that one person. Let, let me see the tower here. 
No play time. We played. We played like no tomorrow. Sleep time. Wow. Okay. So for the tower, you get the devil card, the ace of pentacles, and the death card. Um, you might be presented with a brand new beginning here, and you might not even see it. When something comes crashing down into your life and it's going to come, uh, that opens up the door to a brand new beginning and you may miss it with the devil card being attached here. Because you have the death card right after the ace of pentacles and that tells me that you're not really taking that brand new beginning. You're not. Mm -mm. Uh, but that's, again, that's something that you may have done in the past, something that's coming um, back into your life for another chance and you may be like no I don't want that you know so so take a look at that see <sighs> with every tower comes something brand new you know no matter how hard it is no matter some towers are not that hard they're just about change and change is always tough even even if it's for the best kind of outcome out there uh, change is tough so you might um, you might not want to change here. You might not want the change that's being presented to you. And the universe is going to keep sending it until you take it. So, you know. Uh, can I have my cards, please? Thank you. Let me pull some cards from the universe for you. <clears throat> Yeah, you got communication coming in, very passionate. It's looking like um, you're not seeing it coming. It's going to be a surprise. It's coming out of nowhere here. So that's what the reading is pretty much. Uh, let me pull from the soul's journey. You get imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. Okay. So yeah, this is your reading Virgo for February. It's uh it's looking like you're making progress here. There's something coming up for you. There's a challenge coming up for you. Uh that you are going to have to look at really well cuz it's coming with a brand new beginning for you, a very powerful life-changing kind of beginning. And you may be overwhelmed at that time or I don't know what's you know what your situation is going to be that you, your first instinct would be to say no to it take a look at it take a better look at it and see why you're saying no to it does it feel right to say no to it does it feel right to think about it for a little bit i don't know it's really up to you and your situation but yeah this is what's happening for you i hope this helped and i'll see you next time bye